so many of them. You hear that? You can hear him? Yeah. There I just heard him. All right, boys and girls. We in business. Nebraska, southern Nebraska. Doing some scouting here. We found some birds. We're gonna get after them. Gotta come up with a game plan, but it's a big group. Jo Very big group. Joey Papura, my buddy, invited me up. He's got a lot of experience in this area. He's got a lot of experience chasing grouped up turkeys, but we're gonna get after him with a bow. Let's see what happens.
Put this on that, uh, uh, na nature's Instagram page. Yeah. Forty-three turkeys, right in on us within twenty yards. I'm a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Joey's got some connections up here in southern Nebraska, and we came up to hunt some property, and the turkeys just were not on it. So we started scouting around, and they were real close. So we, Joey's the man when it comes to getting permission, and started driving around, knocked on some doors, made some phone calls, and we got another twelve hundred acres of permission real fast, and. <laughs> We parked on the road, watched them from the road, did a big half mile stock, and I mean, we snuck up on them. Carrying a bunch of stuff. Blind, bows, camera gear, backpacks, decoys, and we got set up there in this little cattle pasture deal, and we had to call them through a fence. They've been calling and gobbling all morning, and Joey, finally we were sitting there because we thought they'd work a little sooner. And like, Joey, just go check it out. So he sneaks up there and spots him 150 yards out, and two of them started coming our way. So Joey booked it back. He was huffing. I was rolling. Yeah. And he, I got he, dizzy. <laughs> he was huffing and puffing. Gets in the blind, out of breath, starts <laughs> trying to call. And, and uh, sure enough, like within 10 minutes, those two came out, and they skirted through the fence, came over this hill. My goodness, 43 turkeys is what I counted, uh, uh, and it was like eight or nine toms, seven jakes, and those jakes, they came through once, and we didn't get an opportunity, because those jakes ran the toms off, and they put on a show for a little while, and, I mean, we're talking decoys at eight to ten yards, that's how close they were, <laughs> and they, the toms ended up circling around us, and most of the other birds were out in front of us, but this one tom stayed behind and he came out about 10 yards to the side of our blind. He freaking did it right into the decoys. Joey dropped him. He went seven yards and those jakes came back and then this other Tom decided he wanted to do it too and he came over and we were able to whack him short. You had all the jakes and the Toms. We had one jake that's been attacking the one I killed and then Tyler could he drew back but all the jakes were there so he couldn't I had to let pick one I had to let, let down. down and redraw. Yep. Yep. My first turkey with a bow, I've really been against bow hunting for turkeys because I just feel like you wound them a lot. But man, when they do it up close at 10 yards, it's kind of hard to mess up. So, uh, And then they wouldn't leave. <laughs> and they wouldn't leave for like 20 <laughs> minutes. Wow, what a freaking hunt. 
Uh, just get not just. This was spur of the moment. We talked about this two days ago. Thursday. There was no plan. We showed up last night. We scouted around. Didn't get a hotel until eight eight thirty last night. Went out to dinner and uh, slept till like seven this morning. <laughs> I I slept through the alarm for honestly, but they weren't. It didn't really matter because we kind of knew where they were, what they were liking to do. So. Really cool birds up here. Awesome time in southern Nebraska. Um, can't ask for anything more than that. Nice work, dude. That's the way it's done. Congrats. That's the way it's done. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like it. <laughs> <laughs>